Have you ever wanted to make awesome stylized trees for fantasy games or even Halloween spooky games? Hey, you're in the right place if you want to learn how. We're going to start out in Blender by pressing M in edit mode to go add center. And we're doing uh, the basics of trees right now. So every time I go to make a tree, I grab this one little vertice, hold control, and then right click. And you kind of just shape out your tree. Doesn't have to be anything too complex, anything too simple. You just kind of really shape out whatever kind of a tree you want. And the best part is, there's not anything you can really do wrong with it. Like, it's just a tree. You're just making random branches. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> so let's do this. And there we go. Our tree is basically done. We're going to turn on our proportional editing by clicking this little circle up here or pressing O on the keyboard to turn it on and off. And then we're going to press G to see how big our circle is. We're going to make ours pretty big and grab this point right here. Just grab somewhere center of your tree. It's not like overly that important, but just, you know, it gives it a little bit more shape. Now it's not just a straight tree. Up next, we gotta start letting the magic happen, so we're gonna go to modifiers, and we're gonna add a skin modifier. This will give us more of a solidified tree. Then we're gonna do control A, it is selecting everything, so we're just doing control A. There we go. I'm gonna turn proportional editing off, and let's see. So, we're gonna just kinda go all the way in, where I want the thinnest ones to be, and now we're gonna grab all of the next one down. For these so we'll do Control a to scale those up a little bit and then move down once again Control a to scale those up a little bit there we go and then scale this up quite a bit and of course these are going to need to be scaled up as well so we'll scale that up and scale this up you could also do it the other way like just click on the ones that you want to make small at a time that probably makes more sense but this time i did it that way <laughs> so leave me alone now we have this boxy tree which uh, could be cool if your game is called like Box Simulator or something. But hey, we want a little bit more detail. So we're going to collapse this and we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier. This is going to round everything out, make it look all crispy, clean, and clear and good. And uh, it's a great start. Now let's go ahead and collapse this modifier. We are going to add an array modifier as well. Let's see. Array. There we go. I don't want this to be relative offset. I want it to be object offset. And for the object, we're going to add in an empty right here and i'll just use plain axis now we want to set the object right here click this little eyedropper tool click on the empty there we go and we want to set this to about five easy peasy lemon squeezy now we're going to click on this and i am just going to go sky view and rotate it and as you can see we have this cool sort of look here we are going to move the empty in a little bit like this. Now we're getting more of a, a twisted tree look. There we go. That's what I wanted. We'll go back to the tree now and we can kind of edit however we want to. So say we want to pull this stuff in a little bit. So that tighter, tighter top half. We could do our proportional editing again. If we want, we could scale that. But I think something like this will work for now. I do want to bring these just a little bit closer together right there. Uh, never mind. We'll do that with modifiers. So, up next, we're gonna collapse the array, and we're gonna bring in a simple displace modifier. Or simple D4, my bad. I always get that one mixed up. And we want to set this on our Z-axis, and now we can just kind of do this to twist the tree more. Of course, the more you go, the more messed up your tree's gonna look. So unless you're trying to make a tornado tree, I wouldn't go all the way. But just bring it to where it's not messing things up too much. Of course, it will a little bit, but you can always tone it back. So we're going to go about to right here. I think that looks good, and it's giving a natural flow to that tree. It makes sense how they're spinning. We are going to add another simple deform, which will help us make some bends. So simple deform, and instead of twist, we're going to set this to bend. Now, we could kind of do this kind of a thing with the tree. <laughs> which uh once again the more you do it the more messed up your tree is gonna be but you could do some really really cool stuff with this so we have this as our tree for now i am gonna go ahead and duplicate it grabbing literally everything shift d and just moving it over this is just so we have this base and we can work on it whenever we want to and change it however we want now that our base tree is done we could keep that one as a base and then we could come over here go into our simple deform we can make this one have like a crazy bend or something we'll go 
will go something like this. And it doesn't matter too, too much if our branches get a little bit messed up because we will be putting leaves on them in a Roblox studio. So we have another one like this now. That's cool. We could grab this one again, Shift D, and you can edit these however you want. So if you wanted this to be a little different, let's say we grab this, turn on proportional editing, we can kind of shift stuff. So we want that to be a taller tree, maybe uh, maybe out a little bit or in, however you want it to look, guys, it's all possible. So now we got one that's more spread out. I'm not a big fan of that one, though, so I'm just going to control Z all the way. And if you want to edit these branches individually, just go into your array and apply that one. Apply. And now you have access to each set of branches. So we can have our proportional editing on and just kind of move some stuff. See how it's now moving everything in a weird way? We can make that a bit smaller so it's not affecting as much. Or we could just turn it off completely. But that's how you make the trees, guys. And then for leaves, you could do anything you want. A lot of people will probably grab an Icosphere mesh, Icosphere just like this, and then scale them, you know, squish them, and just fill up all of the branches like this. I'm going to do mine differently in studio because I already made a leaf set. I do want to make one more variation of the tree, though. I I'm wanting maybe like a tall one. So I'm going to grab all of these and just bring them down. So now it's a real tall tree. And then... I'm going to grab some of these and make some roots. So just extrude out, control A, extrude out, and extrude out. Whoops, wrong one. There we go. And I'll grab these, control A to scale those. And then, of course, this one here, control A, something like that. And we'll make, like, two more roots, I guess. Extrude, scale A. We'll move this one kind of out to the side. And then we will add a couple on it. And control A, of course. We'll have just one coming off of this one. Looks good. And we're going to move that one this way. So now we have some roots on that tree. And if you want to add the roots before doing anything like that, you can always do it before you click um, apply on your array modifier. And it will bring out all of them at once. So if I extrude, now we're getting roots for all of these. Let me bring this back in a little bit. Control A. And then, of course, we can extrude again. I'm gonna bring that one back a little too. Extrude again. We'll go a little out this way, a little out this way. And as you can see, guys, you now have roots on every side, which is pretty cool. Now, if you want to make a Halloween tree map, this is all you need. You don't need leaves at all. So I think we'll wrap it up there. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.